Thank you for taking the time for Celtech Geosynthetics Connection of LSG Series Load Support Grid. Connecting Stabilizer Grid Together. First, I'll tell you about the handheld stapler, which is the most popular. This is only good for the 3 inch cell depth and the 4 inch cell depth. 6 and 8 require the pneumatic stapler. Pull the two half cells together, overlap the welds, and then staple them at least three times. They need to be done this way to make equal cell size between connections. So when all grids are connected, you got a continuous system. Use three staples per three inch and four for four inch. Connect all pieces together. Stretch them out past your cuts, then you cut the excess off if necessary. Be sure to cut right past the weld to leave an entire cell or a half a cell. And when you get familiar with the product and how it expands, then you can start measuring your pieces, cut them out in the lawn, then take them over and install them where needed. To connect the top and bottom of the grid, you need to line up the engineered holes, take the staple to the bottom of the center of the cell, staple at least three to four staples per cell. When the cell depth is greater than four, six and eight need a pneumatic staple. This is run by air pressure and has a larger throat. They usually go up to about seven inches deep. Remember, the object is, is you're trying to make a weld connecting two pieces together with staples. Cutting stabilizer grid, you only need an X-Acto knife. It's made out of high-density polyethylene. Recommend galvanized or stainless steel staples. But buried in the ground and in the elements, they will rust eventually. They have a life expectancy of about 20 to 30 years. All Celtech cellular confinement products need to be connected correctly. Improper connection could cause the product to fail in those areas. Remember, you're trying to make one continuous unit. Thank you for your time www.celltechdirect.com 888-851-0051